utility vehicles certainly have their appeal. In the past decade, many people have been switching from luxury midsize sedan to crossover SUVs. But luxury midsize sedan is not dead. Today's models offer spacious interiors, impressive fuel economy, and a satisfying blend of comfort, style, and control on the road. The best of them are among the most impressive vehicles on the market. When people think luxury car, they often think of large sedans, but there's more diversity of size and type in today's market. These are my top 5 excellent luxury midsize sedans, to choose from. Stay with me as I work you through my selections. Note, that my selection is based on these 5 factors. 1. Price. 2. Reliability. 3. Exterior look. 4. Interior quality. 5. The brand resale value. Please subscribe, and turn on the notification so you won't miss any new video. Thank you. Number 1. Mercedes-Benz E-Class E350. 2.0 liter 4-cylinder turbocharged. 255 horsepower. 273 pound-feet of torque. 0 to 60 in 5.8 seconds. The 2021 Mercedes-Benz E-Class, sits on the midsize of the luxury car segment. E-Class is perhaps the most successful in this group. When you consider its controlled ride, excellent seats, and choice of several powerful engines, and with its bleeding technology. Classy appearance, it's hard to see the Mercedes E-Class as anything but one of the most well-rounded midsize luxury car available today. The styling update for the 2021 Mercedes-Benz E-Class, includes facelifted, the front end packs redesigned, the new LED headlights that bring its look a little closer to its equivalent SUV, the GLE class. The taillights bear a closer resemblance to the new A-Class, and new wheel designs, paint colors. Mercedes also rotated the grille 180 degrees, and new front bumper design. Other enhancements include traffic integration with the adaptive cruise system, so the car can begin slowing from highway speeds far in advance. When the car is stopped, the blind spot monitor can now warn passengers if they are about to open the door into traffic coming from behind. The E350 has a turbocharged four-cylinder that makes 255 horsepower and 273 pound-feet of torque. It pairs with either rear or all-wheel drive. The plug-in hybrid E350e is only available with rear-wheel drive, but its four-cylinder engine works with an electric motor to generate a total output of 315 horsepower and 516 pound-feet of torque. The E450 is powered by a turbocharged inline six-cylinder engine, with a 48-volt hybrid system that doubles as an electric supercharger. The setup sends 362 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque to either rear or all-wheel drive. The E-Class's cabin is beautifully detailed with brushed aluminum, lovely wood, and some of the most comfortable seats in its class. Every model comes standard with customizable ambient interior lighting, heated front seats, a 12.3-inch digital gauge cluster, and memory settings for the driver's and front passenger seat. Desirable options include a head-up display, massaging front seats, a panoramic sunroof, and ventilated front seat cushions. A touchscreen version for the infotainment system, is now standard.
Number 2. BMW 5 Series 530i. 2.0 liter 4 cylinder turbocharged. 248 horsepower. 258 pound feet of torque. 0 to 60 in 5.9 seconds. The 2020 BMW 5 Series is one of the finest cars available today. Every new BMW launches under the weight of tremendous expectations, and this generation 5 Series was no exception. For decades, the 5 Series has been a second standard bearer for mid-size sport luxury sedans, behind Mercedes E-Class. Although, 5 Series is one of the most well-rounded luxury mid-size cars, which is why it places second on the top of my class rankings. Powerful engines, a smooth ride, a premium interior, and user-friendly tech, are just a few of the many enticing traits the 5 Series brings to the table. The 5 Series, gets several changes for 2020. Standard equipment now includes keyless entry, and engine start, digital instrumentation, and a next-generation infotainment system with navigation, and connected services. The 2020 BMW 5 Series is available in four trim levels. The 530i is powered by, a turbocharged 2.0-liter four-cylinder. Making 248 horsepower, and 258 pound-feet of torque. And the 530EI Performance Plug-in Hybrid, 248 horsepower, and 310 pound-feet of torque. The 540i gets a turbocharged 3.0-liter inline-six. Producing 335 horsepower, and 331 pound-feet of torque. At the top of the range is the M550i, with its turbocharged 4.4-liter V8, has sensational outputs of 523 horsepower, and 553 pound-feet of torque. All-wheel drive is an option on the 530i, the 530e, and the 540i. It's standard on the M550i. Each pairs with an 8-speed automatic transmission, The front seats are terrific. They're comfortable, roomy, and supportive. The 530i's cabin is an excellent place to spend time. Front passengers have ample room. And thanks to the highly adjustable seat and steering wheel, drivers of just about all sizes should be able to find a comfortable position. Climbing in or out is easy thanks to generous door openings with plenty of head clearance. Rear legroom is spacious, and the rear headroom is sufficient enough. The rich material soft touch surfaces everywhere you look makes the new 5 Series interior outstanding. Number 3. Audi A6 Premium, 45 TFSI. 2.0 liter 4 cylinder turbocharged. 248 horsepower, 273 pound-feet of torque, 0 to 60 in 6.1 seconds. The 2020 Audi A6 is part of a generation that began with the 2019 model year. The redesigned A6 remains a tech leader among mid-size luxury sedans. It handles well, provides a comfortable ride, and offers two quiet powertrains engine options, that deliver ample power. The A6 remains mostly unchanged from the 2019 model. Standard features across the range include rain-sensing window wipers, auto headlights, front and rear parking sensors, LED headlights and taillights, as well as power folding, heated and auto-dimming side mirrors with memory, and a panoramic sunroof. The 2020 A6 sedan is available in two engines. The base A645, 
comes with a turbocharged 2.0 liter four cylinder, 248 horsepower, and 273 pound feet of torque. The V6 equipped A655 comes with an electrically assisted and turbocharged 3.0 liter V6, 335 horsepower, and 369 pound feet of torque. Both engines are paired to a seven speed dual clutch automatic transmission and Audi's Quattro all wheel drive system. The sheer number of screens in this cabin can be overwhelming. The A6's interior design is sleek, modern, and nicely put together from excellent quality materials. Soft leather adorns the seats and armrests, rich-looking wood and nickel-finished metal trim is tastefully applied to the dash and doors, and the majority of the A6's secondary climate controls drive mode. The front seats provide ample head and legroom, even for tall people. The story is the same in the rear seats, so you'll be comfortable no matter where you sit in the A6. Number 4. Lexus GS. 3.5 liter V6. 311 horsepower. 280 pound feet of torque. 0 to 60 in 5.7 seconds. Lexus has pretty much mastered the art of crafting vehicles that offer a certain measure of unflappable refinement. This skill is very much at play in the driving dynamics of the 2020 Lexus GS a mid-size luxury sedan that remains calm, and poised even when faced with harsh road surfaces. This upscale sedan comes with a robust set of standard features, and a mercifully small selection of add-ons. The F Sport's improved suspension provides an engaging ride with tight handling. The GS350 should meet most of your expectations for a luxury sedan. The GS350 is available in two main versions. Both use a 3.5-liter V6, 311 horsepower, and 280 pound-feet of torque. Paired to an 8-speed automatic transmission, and rear-wheel drive. All-wheel is optional but it comes with a 6-speed automatic instead of the 8-speed. The cabin of the GS is spacious and comfortable, but the design is too old. If there's anything Lexus does consistently well, it's a quiet interior, and the GS is proof of that. The comfy seats complement the experience, offering great adjustability for the front passengers, and plenty of padding on all the armrests. Standard 10-way power adjustable front seats help the driver find a comfortable seating position, and the back row is also quite roomy. Base models come standard with synthetic leather upholstery, heated front seats, and memory settings for the driver's seat, power-adjustable steering wheel, and side-view mirrors. Number 5. Genesis G80. 2.5-liter 4-cylinder turbocharged. 300 horsepower. 
311 pound-feet of torque. 0 to 60 in 6.6 .6 seconds. Estimate. The 2021 Genesis G80 builds on the groundwork laid by its predecessors, offering more technology, driving aids and luxury features than ever before. It also includes the quad headlight design, and large grille introduced to the Genesis new GV80 crossover, and refreshed G90 sedan. From its unique double headlights, and gigantic pentagonal grille, to its slippery bodywork, and sloping roofline, the all-new 2021 Genesis G80 is a rolling beauty. The shapely sedan is inspired by the company's new GV80 SUV, which also looks the part of a high-class luxury SUV in its class. While it has the same 118.5-inch wheelbase as its predecessor, the G80 rides on a new rear-wheel drive platform, and is a bit longer, lower, and wider than before. It remains slightly larger than competitors, such as the Mercedes E-Class and BMW 5 Series, which should give it an advantage in terms of rear seat room. The G80 is powered by two engines. The turbocharged 2.5-liter four-cylinder, producing 300 horsepower and 311 pound-feet of torque. The upgraded powerful twin-turbo 3.5-liter V6, with 375 horsepower and 391 pound-feet of torque. Both engines pair with an eight-speed automatic transmission and either rear or all-wheel drive. Combined with a weight reduction of up to 243 pounds over the previous model, the new G80 should feel properly quick when you stomp the throttle. Rear-wheel drive is standard, and all-wheel drive is offered as an option. Every successive G80's interior represents a seismic shift over the previous model, and the 2021 G80 is no exception. It bears a striking resemblance to the GV80's cabin, with a low dash, simple climate controls, and a dominant 14.5-inch central infotainment screen. Liberal use of leather, wood, aluminum trim, and ambient lighting accents, give the driving environment a properly luxurious design that looks far more upscale than before. While the roof slopes dramatically in the back, Genesis says lowering the rear bench affords more rear headroom than in the previous G80. The abundant leather, open poor wood, and metal trim look to be high quality, and the dashboard design is pleasing without being overwhelming. Genesis hasn't said how much the all-new G80 will cost or what trim levels and features will be available, but I suspect the price will start at $43,000. The redesigned 2021 Genesis G80 looks to close the quality gap between the current model and its more expensive competition. If Genesis nails the price point, the 2021 G80 could be a legitimate contender for the midsize luxury throne. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share.